Amen. Thank you, Jeannie. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you all. Let's stand together. Let's praise the Lord this morning. We are in His house today to worship. So let's sing about it. Thank you, Brother Steve. Good morning, everybody. It is good to see you today. Uh, we have a number of guests who have um, come to, we got a little celebration of our graduates, and so we have uh, some visitors and some that came with friends today. We're delighted that you chose to be with us here at Cornerstone this morning, so thank you. Uh, a couple things I just want to remind you of. Uh, Dwight just caught me as he was leaving. He says, I've got a very rough cough this morning. He says, I'm going to teach this study tonight, but he says, I'm going home, uh, so I, I don't affect anybody. Uh, just, uh, he's had a, a head cold, and it's just, he said, the hangover and, uh, of, from that sickness, and I said, I understand what you're talking about. Um, so, welcome, and so tonight, 6 o'clock Bible study. Uh, someone asked me uh, just recently about special prayer time that we have here at the church. And obviously we have Wednesday night where we have Bible study and then a short period of time of, of prayer. Uh, but I also mentioned to this individual that at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, the pastors and deacons meet for uh, prayer and discussing things. But at the same time, there is a prayer meeting uh, of uh, volunteers going on in my office. So if uh, you want to come Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, for a season of prayer, praying for our service, praying for our church family and specific needs, you're more than welcome, male or female, uh, come and, uh, and my office is right there if you don't know that, but it's, uh, it, come and, and join you, we're delighted to have you. Got a couple things going on there, uh, found in your foundation, there's a trip scheduled for visiting Village Ram Library on Friday the 20th of July. Uh, a while back, uh, again, I uh, had someone come to me and say, uh, we need some activities and trips for our church family, and we went to the zoo a few months back, and we're planning on uh, this. We've rented a van, a 15-passenger van. Uh, there's a list to sign up, so we know we have uh, enough going. Uh, and uh, just want to encourage you to do that. Um, we're going to have a, a good time that day, and of course, uh, there's something coming in the fall uh, that uh, you're invited to also, so uh, we'll be talking more about that. Again, it's just a joy to have you with us today. Uh, a wonderful day to worship, celebrate uh, our wonderful Savior, uh, and to, again, congratulations to uh, some of our youngsters that uh, have made it through the toils and hardship of high school. Now they got to learn to live through life. Uh, yeah, but it, it's a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to say thank you. I thank you, first of all, for a wonderful day to gather together. Thank you for this beautiful facility that you've given us to come and worship and to lift up your name. Lord, let's honor you today. Let us uh, focus our heart and our attention and our minds upon your grace and your goodness and your direction in our life. And Father, if there is uh, a need met uh, here today, someone 
that's struggling in life, let this be today that they say yes to you and find the peace and joy that you are wanting and desiring to give them this very day. Thank you again for uh, this fellowship. Let our, uh, our worship and our voices praise your name this morning for us. In our Savior's name we pray. Amen. to see you guys too well guys I have some special f oh wait wait there's some breaking news wait what was that again oh okay L let's go on over here to Ellie elephant okay Ellie what 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 is it so you're telling me that it's occurring what location okay sale okay looks like it's over on okay you said in Acts 16 16 through 40 okay this that's where it's that so that's that's where everything's go okay so that's where everything's going on okay okay and also i just received some more information okay so uh it's called behind bars and it's Acts 16 16 through 40 and this just in and this just in look i am with you and will watch over you wherever you go genesis 28 15. Okay, guys, hold on tight. Let's see where the news is going to take us now. La, 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 la. Camille, what's that noise? I'm singing. Why are you singing? It's natural to sing when you're happy. But how can you be happy in a place like this? Oh, Clyde, you'll get used to the stable. Every camel does sooner or later. Well, in my case, I'm afraid it will be later. You act like you're the first camel ever to move out of the desert and into a racing stable. It's only for a few weeks. Then you'll be back in the open spaces again. Well, you act like you're at the coronation and you're the one that's about to wear the crown. I just think it's better to be happy in your surroundings. Who can be happy in prison? It's not prison, Clyde. It has bars, doesn't it? Well, yes. And I'm not free to romp and play, am I? Clyde Camel, you never romp and play anyway. It's the principle of the thing, Camille. I was made to walk proudly across the sands, not to carry some jockey to the winner's circle in the camel race. Well, just think a minute, Clyde. Don't you remember our master telling us a story about some happy prisoners? No. Oh, well, not unless you're talking about those two strange Bible men who were singing in prison, kind of like you're singing right now here in our prison. Their names were Paul and Silas, and they weren't really all that strange. They just believed that God was powerful enough to use them right where they were. In jail? How could God use them in jail? God uses people wherever they are, if they're willing. Well, you're looking at one unwilling camel. I like to praise the Creator for the sunshine in the desert, not this dark, dingy, stinking camel pen. But Clyde, don't you remember what happened to Paul and Silas? Sure, they got thrown in jail, that part I already know. No, no. After that? Well, let's see, it was uh, midnight, and all of a sudden they got hungry for a midnight snack. No, they didn't. <laughs> Say, who's telling this story anyway? Oh, I guess uh, you are. Are you sure one of them didn't get hungry? No, they were too busy singing and praising God. How do you know? You weren't there. Okay, maybe they were hungry. Aha! But it has nothing to do with the story. Sorry, go on. Paul and Silas were in jail with the other prisoners, 
and they began to sing. The prisoners? No, Paul and Silas started singing. I told you they were weirdos. No, they weren't, Clyde. You're forgetting that God gave them their song. Oh, well, uh, what happened next? Suddenly, the earth began to shake. A sonic boom? Of course not, silly. There were no jets back then. An earthquake? Right. A huge one, and it opened the jail doors. And that's where they were all happy. They escaped. They could have, but they didn't. Instead, they stayed and told the jailer and his whole family about Jesus. They did that? They did. Now that's something to be happy about. But what does that have to do with us here? In these racing stables. Maybe we could tell some other camels around here about our creator and his plan for the whole human race. Hmm. You really think God could use us camels locked up in this jail or a, a stable? Only if you could learn to be happy in your surroundings. Well, the master has made us feel welcome. The food isn't bad. We, we do have nice neighbors, and, well, the food isn't bad. Leave it to you to think of food. By the way, isn't it supper time? Yes, let's go get washed up. Who needs to wash? <coughs> let's eat! Thank you, ladies. Thank you, puppets. Let's stand again together and let's sing a little bit more today. I will sing of the mercies. sing it and let's just pray Like the fragrance after 
Father, today we know that there is just something about that name. When we hear the name of Jesus, we just hear a, a commanding presence. And Father, we're just so grateful that you give us that in our lives, that you love us. And Father, we know that, that you're in charge. We know that, that you have our lives in the palm of your hands. So Father, there is something just about your name, just how sweet it is to hear that. So we thank you for that today, Father. We want to honor you, so we ask your blessings today in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Let us bow our heads, please. Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity we have uh, to come before you this morning and lift up the needs of our church family, of our friends, our extended families, our co-workers, uh, uh, our fellow students. Lord, those in our sphere of influence we know who need you, who need a touch from you, Lord, who need your blessing in their lives. Some of them don't even know you, Lord, and most of all, they need Jesus. So, Father, thank you for the opportunity you give us to, uh, to pray for others. And Lord, we want to pray first for our church family, for those in our church family who are sick, uh, who need a healing touch, Lord. We just ask you to give them that healing touch, Lord. We ask you to remove pain. We ask you to give them peace, Father, uh, that only can come through a relationship with you. Lord, we just especially lift up this morning Joe and Ann Pratt, who are moving to Columbia, starting a new life. Uh, we ask you to be with them, Lord, to watch over them, to guide them, uh, to give them peace in their life, Lord, uh, and just to, to be with them constantly as they start this new journey, Father. Lord, we lift up our graduates, Kiera and Maddie and Joey, to you. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Uh, they have so much to look forward to, Lord. Thank you that they are following you and that they know you, Lord and that you're a priority in their lives. Continue to walk with them. Continue to show them your way, Lord, not the way of this world. Father, we just ask you now to bless our church, to watch over it, to continue to make this a holy place, a place of safety and comfort and peace for those who come here, a welcoming place, Lord. Uh, we just thank you so much for Cornerstone, and we ask your continued blessing upon it. Father, we lift up our first responders to you, our government officials to you at all levels. Lord, they need you so much. Help them to recognize that need. Help them to follow your way, Lord. Help them to work together to put others first instead of putting themselves first, Lord. Protect our first responders, Lord, in their difficult jobs. Father, we just lift up the lost and hurting to you. We ask you to guide them to watch over them, especially to let them know, Lord, that they need you, that they need Jesus as their Savior. Lord, just uh, give us opportunities each and every day to let people know through our lives about Jesus. And Father, we just now lift up this time to, uh, uh, to give to you, Lord. We ask you to uh, bless these offerings that we're about to receive, Lord. Help them to bring glory and honor to you and further your work here locally in this area and throughout this nation and throughout the world, Lord. Lord, you're so good to us. And now we take this opportunity to give back to you just a small portion of what you've given us. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you, Jeannie. Let's stand together again as we sing I Am Thine, O Lord. It's hymn number 552. Let's sing together. Thank you. I'd like to ask our graduates if they would come forward. And uh, if you guys would just come and have a seat right here on this front pew. It's Kiera Telez, Joey DeKempe, and Maddie Wilder. Awesome to see you guys. So glad that you're here this morning. And uh, you have completed 12th grade. Yay. Hey. <laughs> that is... Um, that is certainly a milestone, but the fun is just beginning. <laughs> and, uh, but congratulations to all three of you. I don't want to diminish that at all. That is quite a feat. Uh, I don't know what the dropout rates are these days, but I know it's very high. 17% at South Aiken High School. Dropout rate. So uh, congratulations for sticking it, sticking it out, and, uh, and, and, and making the grades to get that all-important um, diploma in that piece of paper. Um, in, in talking with these young folks, and I, I've had the honor of being able to teach them uh, for about the last six or seven months, I guess it's been. I'm not sure exactly how long. I, I wish that our paths had crossed earlier in life. That way I could have had a little longer with you. But, um, but it, it's just been a joy to me to be able to get with you guys on Sundays. And, and um, uh, occasionally I'll get a knock on the door and one of these guys are at the house and they'll come in and I uh, want Lisa to fix their hair or do their nails or something. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, but those are all great things and it's just been a joy for me to get to know you guys as well as, as we have. Um, I asked them uh, for this morning if they would get me um, a verse that says something to them and a verse that's very important to them or, or maybe their life's verse. And um, I, I'll start with uh, Joey's verse. Joy's verse comes from the book of Isaiah, in uh, chapter 57, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Good people pass away. The godly often die before their time. But no one seems to care or wonder why. No one seems to understand that God is protecting them from evil to come. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. And that's a very comforting couple of verses to know. Now, Kieris comes from the book of 1 Peter. Chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. And her says, Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate, and be humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because this you were called so that you may inhabit a blessing. And uh, I saved Maddie's for last, because Maddie's favorite, or her life verse, is the same as mine. And, uh, and I enjoy this verse, and I've I preached it from the pulpit a time or two. It comes out in my sermons a good bit, but it comes from the book of Philippians chapter 4, and that's verse 13. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And, and all three of these verses say a lot about their character and about who they are with their walk with the Lord. But, but thank you so much for getting me that. And, 
And uh, before Brother Darrell comes, I, uh, he's going to speak to you for just a minute. But I, I want to give you a couple of words of warnings, guys. Um, now that you have completed this milestone, uh, you're going to be hit with a lot of different arrows that are coming. Some of them are flaming arrows. And now you're saying, Pastor Steve, what do you mean by that? They come in the form of credit cards. <laughs> And, and I, it's funny, but it's sincere because you guys are going to get offers from Capital One Bank. Am I right? You're going to get offers from Discover. You're going to get offers from American Express, Visa, MasterCard. You name it, this stuff has your name on it. You've probably already got it. I've already applied for one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here's my advice to you, and I'm going to go back to Jim Jones at Guyana. Some of you will get this. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> because financial problems can start now. Okay? So be smart. Give the, use the wisdom that God has given you. And just be very, very careful uh, with your money as a spend. And I know all three of you work. I know that you have income coming in, and that's very admirable. And some of you are, are moving on to... Uh, a higher education and I, I, I so admire that but congratulations to you uh, be careful with your money and by all means whatever decision you make make sure you seek God's wisdom before you make it okay, Amen. okay well he told me to say a couple words so I'm going to say more than a couple though uh, in all sincerity congratulations uh, it is a good milestone I've only known you guys for a year and you I since you were your niece. Um, I just have a couple things to say. School, no matter where you go or what you do or and where you've been, teaches you how to make a living. But God's Word tells you how to live. Never forget that. You can make bukus of money, depending on what you do and where you go, and, and, and all, all well and good. But to know how to live successfully, and eternally comes from the Word of God. And he was talking about all the things that are going to come in life. Yeah, you're going to be bombarded with all sorts of philosophies, all kinds of ideas. But never, give, never turn your back on what God has said in His Word because it is true. He will be faithful to you and He will make your life and your past and lives a delight. Thank you. Brother Steve. Thank you, brother, so much. Please take these words to heart. And we have a gift for you this morning. And, and I asked each of them a few weeks ago, uh, we, we wanted to give them a study Bible and a good Bible that they can go to and, and, uh, and take a look at the Word and, and then uh, some good authors that can help them decipher what it's really saying. And, uh, and that's so important because so many people take so many verses out of context. So we, we tried to find uh, some good ones that we could go to, the authors that we trusted. Two of them come from uh, the Holman area, and, um, and the other one, uh, well, actually all three of them come from the Holman area. So I think that you're going to be fine with, with all of these, and they're, they're all good Bibles. Um, uh, Maddie requested the Christian Standard Bible, uh, which is a version, uh, and the other one... Um, uh, uh, Kiera asked for the New International Version, the NIV, and uh, Joey's a King James Version guy, so he wanted the King James. So, and that's great. All three of these are wonderful versions, but we want to give you these. We want to present you with these Bibles. Uh, it's inscribed with your name on the front. And Maddie, that's yours. Yeah. Once again, congratulations, and uh, these are the Bibles, and we, we do have the boxes for these Bibles. See me before you leave. We can put it back in the box for you so you'll have it. But guys, we've given you a Bible. I know you have Bibles. I know that. But we wanted to give you something, and we want you to have this. So now, take it and read it. Take it and study it. And when you have a question that you can't get an answer to, it's there. Anything you want to know is between the covers of those, those three books. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much.
aren't you glad he did? Amen. Let's stand together. Let's fellowship one with another. Let's make sure you get around and shake somebody's hand. Victory unto thee. 